Hey y'all, it's Amanda. I'm in the mood to do some fun eyeshadow. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use our Red Aspen Courageous palette to do a fun eyeshadow look today. Um, I've already put my brows on and they look janky because I had to use a L'Oreal brow pencil because I broke my Red Aspen one. I broke it. They're sending me a new one, but in the meantime, my brow game is not gonna be strong. Or maybe it's gonna be too strong. I don't even know. This is these this brow pencil is a little bit too dark, but it is what it is. I can't do nothing about it till I get my new one. I mean, I could I could go and buy another cheap one from the store, but <clears throat> I don't like them, and I just feel like that's just a waste of money. So I'll just wait. I will just wait. Okay, let me go in with our Red Aspen set and set that concealer. I'm using the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop, and I love it. Love it. Where's my brush? I don't do a lot of powder, just a little bit. To set the concealer. So nothing will be moving. I got a green eyeliner pencil from NYX, and so I'm kind of wanting to do green eyeshadow. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go into the Courageous palette. These come with a giant mirror, which I love. And first, I'm gonna go in with this color right here called Risk, and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. Oh, I forgot to clean my brushes, hang on. Where is my... This little thing right here that I got from Ulta is like the best little time saver ever. It's a dry makeup brush cleaner. It's like a color switch. And it's fabulous. Because I forgot to clean my brushes, so this works. And it just takes whatever color is on them off. Which is nice. What's everybody up to on this fun Saturday? I don't know what I'm going to do today. I mean, I... I've got a new hair tool that I'm going to try out, but I can't be happy with my hair if my makeup's not done, and I know that, so I want to give it a fair shot and do my makeup first, and then I may just be glammed up to clean the house. That may be it. I don't know yet. I'm cleaning all of these just because I don't know which one I'm going to end up using. All right. Sorry. That's done now. That is done now. Let me put that back. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Risk first, and I'm gonna use this big brush to do that. Let me see if I can use this mirror. This is a nice giant mirror. Way cleaner than the one I've been using. But it won't stay that way if I keep using it. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I don't even have to flip it back around. How awesome is that? I didn't know if I was coordinated enough to do that little trick or not. Just being honest with y'all. I love this color. It's like a burnt orangey color. It's just really, really pretty. I'm impressing myself today, y'all. Impressing myself. My nails have been on for seven days with one coat of the brush on glue. I cannot believe that. That's like for three to five day wear. And I have had none pop off. They're still on, on day seven, which is craziness. It's just crazy. I mean, I'm excited about it because I love this set, but I'll probably soak them off sometime today so I can switch it out and do something different. All right, let me go back into this. I think I got it a little darker. On this eye. Okay, so there's that. Knocking stuff over. Then I'm gonna go into this matte green shade and put that all over the lid with this, like a flat brush. And I'm gonna do the shimmer too, but I want the matte on there first. And I may end up using my bronzer to deepen up my crease just a little bit to go better. I probably actually will. 
Okay, I'm making a mess on my fingers because I keep touching some of these colors, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Blend that in. I love this green color. It's so pretty. Super duper pretty. Green is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to wear. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to throw some purple into the crease. This purple right here instead of my bronzer. We're going to make this a fun eyeshadow look. Super fun. Okay, let me get a brush. I'll tap into this purple and put it in between the orange and the green. I think I've got something in my eyeball. That's pretty. I do have something in my eye. I don't know what. I can't see. Okay, I really like that. That deepens it up. And it's really pretty. Good little transition shade in the middle there. Crease shade, whatever you want to call it. Should have done it first, but I didn't. But it's fine. Happy early Mother's Day to all you mamas. I hope y'all all have a great one. Okay, I'm going to have to blend that. This eye is my lazy eye, so I have to work harder to get it to match this eye. And even still, they don't always perfectly match, but it's close enough. All right, let me use this because it doesn't have anything on it. Blend out the edges. Okay, look at my hands. Let me get a wipe. These little Be Fit wipes from Pharmacy are pretty good. I really like them. I use these ones and these ones, the Scentsy wipes. And I like both. Neither of them burn my eyes, which is super important to me. And this one smells really good. I mean, the other one doesn't smell bad, but this one just smells better. That's why I end up using it for my hands a lot. All right. I'm going to leave that for right the second. And then I'm going to go in with the shimmery green. And put that on. Just right in the center of my eye. Like a halo eye. This one's called Adventure. It's really pretty. I like it. Okay. So anyway, now I'm going to use this green eyeliner from NYX. It is called Golden Olive. Golden Olive. It's the slide on, glide on, stay on, whatever kind of eyeliner. Mm, no, that's not dark enough. I don't like that. I'm just going to do brown. <clears throat> do I have a purple, though? <clears throat> a purple would be really pretty. I don't know if I have a purple. Oh, that would take too long to find. I'm just going to do brown. I'll do purple eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I 
that's that. Now I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna do the purple. It just gives it a fun little deep pop. Okay, let me clean that up with a makeup remover wipe. <clears throat> there's that I'm loving the eyeshadow this is such a fun palette and I love that it has a good mix of mattes and shimmers so you can create full looks just using this palette of course you can also add other colors from other palettes if that's what you want to do with your life but I like that you don't have to <clears throat> that it's not necessary okay I'm going to put on a little bit of Palmafera Rose <laughs> Just a little bit and a little bit of this Neutrogena retinol oil if I can get it open should have tried to open it first before I poured this on to my hand because these get runny they get runny all over the place okay I'm looking for a really good face sunscreen so if you know of one that you love drop it in the comments so I can try it because I've not found one <sighs> I've not found a new one <clears throat> and I need a new one but I haven't found a new one I tried super goop don't like that one at all not even a little bit so anything other than super goop I guess because I haven't really tried much Aside from that, the CoverGirl Plus Olay is my final answer for my favorite foundation, hands down. I like it better than the ColourPop. I did a wear test on the ColourPop, and it looks pretty at first, but then it settles into lines, and I'm not about that life, so... That's the skinny on that. Plus with this one, I don't have to use much foundation at all to get full coverage, completely full coverage. Which I like. Okay, that's that color on this video is looking a little off today but I feel like that's been my struggle since um I switched phones using the color pop no filter concealer in the shade light 10 it is my favorite then I'm gonna spray the tip of my sponge and let that dry a little bit and that's how I'm gonna blend it out to set my concealer at the same time as I blend it. And then I'll set the rest of my face with some Aspen setting powder. Still too damp, that's just gonna take it off. Not what I want. I should have sprayed this before, then I wouldn't have to sit here and do this, but. I have to blend that inner corner of my finger so I don't mess up my eyeshadow. Yeah, I don't want that coming out too far. That looks crazy.
If you hop on, say hey, tell me what you're doing today. <laughs> me, I'm just over here rhyming. I'm gonna have to fix something to eat because my stomach is growling. And I ain't done that yet. Okay. Bring this a little further down. All right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. I'm gonna go in with our Aspen set. The setting powder is amazing. I just use what's in the lid and put it on this big brush and go in. And it makes your foundation look flawless. Look at the difference. It's amazing. I love it so much. And I'm super dry, but it still looks good on me. And I can't say that for the majority of the powders in the world. I cannot say that. Most of them make me look crepey and older and just dry and gross. And I don't like them. Oh, flitter sticks. I just got way too much. Hold on. And that's why I, us I never used to use a powder. <clears throat> because it just looked awful. But this one actually makes my face look better and not worse. And I'm sure that that is because of the skincare ingredients, but it's just like, absolutely like a filter for your face. It's insane. It makes you look filtered when you're not. Filtered in real life, it's insane, insane. All right, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer now. And I have to remember to just tap once into this because it is pigmented. All of our powder products are the best, seriously. So if you decide you wanna try any of the makeup products, you will not be disappointed with either the blushes, the bronzer, the setting powder, the eyeshadows, all of them are great. The mascara, the mascara is so good and it helps your lashes grow over time, which is nice. All right, I might've went a little too hard with the bronzer on my nose. I almost just Michael Jackson myself. We'll bring it back though. Okay, so then what I like to do is just go over that a little bit with this brush. Just to make sure I've got it good and blended. I'm going to go in with my highlight underneath my um, blush. So I use the Pearl Crown. I never can remember the name of this. I don't know why. And I need a little brush to do this. Like a little one. Let's see. Put that on my cheek. I like doing it under my blush. It's really, really pretty that way. It's subtle, but glowy and just really, really pretty. Ooh, too much. Okay, that's that. Then I'm gonna use our blush in pink. Sweet Pink and Bloom. It's my current favorite. My current favorite. Oh, I've got to get the mauve one, though. I haven't tried the mauve one yet. All of these things are very, very pigmented, so if you use them, you just have to use a little bit. You don't need much of any of it. See how that just still has the glow under there, but it's not so boom in your face. That's why I like to do it under my blush. That's just a little tip for you to try if you think you might like it. Oh, wrong setting spray, hold on. Let me spray my face. <sighs> that feels so good. And I didn't even try to talk that time while I was doing it. I'm proud of me. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara and a lip color. I got this one from ColourPop. Let me try this one on. 
That's pretty. Oh, I really like that. Don't need some more. All right, so this is ColourPop, and let me see if I can see the color name. Can you even? I like that. Now we'll do some mascara, then we'll call this done. I'm going to try out my new hair tool, but that will be in my stories, because I don't want to just keep sitting here forever, making this video even longer than it already is. Pump it up Maggie Mascara. I have to put the tube down because I don't get back in and I will forget that And if I'm holding on to the tube and I will, but it's not necessary. There's enough product on the brush to do two coats on both eyes without dipping back in. But it, um, I just got a message I think. Anyway, um, it lengthens, volumizes, and curls your lashes and conditions them. And the castor oil in the formula um, causes your lashes to grow with use over time. Which is amazing. I've got some new falsies coming. And I'm going to try those live whenever I get them. They're the little wisps. I, don't, I have a struggle with saying that. Wisps. I feel like I say it too long. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. All right, so that's that. That's the completed look. I really love this eyeshadow look. It's super fun and really easy to do. I am going to go put some dry shampoo in my hair because washing my hair is not part of my journey today. <laughs> it's just not. And then I'm going to try out my new hair tool. So look for that in my stories. I'll see y'all later. Bye.